G'day lunatics, how are ya? Do you love risking life and limb? Do you think extreme sports is the perfect way to relax? Well, then strap yourselves in. Did you love your trip to Venus? Venus is the testing ground for the apocalypse, to be sure, not for the faint hearted. But if you thought Venus was hardcore, and you're thirsty for more, Time X has the ultimate vacation package for you. A grand tour of the craziest places in the solar system. Let's go. Mars. Been there, done that, I know, but have you seen a real Grand Canyon? Valles Marineris, the longest canyon in the solar system. Not only the longest, but the deepest. Rock climbing anyone? How would you like to jump into this bad boy? At 2,485 miles long, there's plenty of parking. That's the distance from San Francisco to Washington. Holy free holy! Not only is this canyon long, but it's deep. Seven kilometers deep in places. Holy dooly! Oh my god! You cliff jumpers will go insane for this place, I'm telling you. But should we tell them that there's uh, almost an atmosphere on Mars and they'll drop like stones? Ah, let them go. So on Mars, enjoy a sunrise on top of Olympus Mons. Olympus Mons is an extremely ancient shield volcano which has long since become extinct. It sounds lovely. But how'd you like to see the Mars scenery from an altitude of 21.9 kilometers? Whew, that's pretty tall. How tall is Mount Everest in comparison? <laughs> Do we even care? Oh, look, look at the little poo poo. Oh, little mama poo poo. <coughs> uh, moving along. <coughs> Next up, Vesta, a lovely little chunk of prime real estate in the asteroid belt. Boasting lots of peace and quiet and some really epic views, Vesta has the tallest mountain in the solar system, Rhea Silvia. Plopped right in the middle of a gigantic crater that takes out 90% of Vesta's diameter, this monster was formed by a meaty impact with something really big and mean around 1 billion years ago. Holy cow. Sorry Olympus Mons, Rhea Silvia is just a little bit taller than you at 22 kilometers. Let's keep heading out. Where are we now? Uh, Io, orbiting Jupiter, is the most geologically active object in the solar system. <laughs> Did someone say geology? Boring, right? What does that mean for the extreme sports nuts? Well, Io has 400 active volcanoes. 400, count them. Why did man bike that one of those bad boys? There's no shortage of them. Whew. Just ride really fast. This place is a little bit too extreme. I'm not hanging around for that long. We haven't got any water sports fans. Europa is the place to go for extreme deep sea diving. Back on Earth, the deepest point in the ocean is the Mariana Trench in the Pacific Ocean, which gets to 12 kilometers below sea level. You can hide majestic Mount Everest inside it. Hmm. Poor little Mount Everest. A little bit in inadequate today. Mike, 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 me. Europa orbits Jupiter and looks pretty serene, but that pretty icy shell hides an ocean averaging 62 kilometers deep. 62, wow. I'd like to explore that myself, like now. Just be careful though, extreme sportsters, Europa may have its own life. No littering and no feeding the natives. Don't do it. But that's some pretty serious water, you have to admit. On to our next stop, Neptune and Uranus. If extreme weather is your thing, then line up. Go hang gliding in these winds. On Uranus, winds in the upper atmosphere blow along at over 900 kph. Stop the world, I want to get off. Crikey. There's more. On Neptune, similar winds scream along at a brain splattering 2100 kph. Just think about it. Whiplash from hell, anyone? Blimey. If you still can't get jumping off rocks out of your system, then you will love Miranda, one of the moons of Uranus. What's so great about Miranda, I hear you ask? I think. Only the tallest cliffs in the solar system, that's what. For some colon twisting thrills, these cliffs fit the bill. At 20 kilometers deep, it'll be a real high jump. Thing is though, we do offer this jump to, to seniors and newbies. Jump to seniors and newbies. Why? Because with Miranda's tiny gravity, 
it'll take 12 minutes to fall to the ground. You'll hit pretty hard, about 200 kph, but a ton of bubble wrap will fix it up. No worries. Moving on. Well, that place is not nasty, no doubt. But never let it be said that we at Timex are not discerning purveyors of the ultimate in bow clenching excitement. Let's leave the solar system altogether. Hurry up, it's 63 light years away. What is? What is? What is? The perfect way to say, I love you, to the raving psychopath in your life. Exoplanet HD 189733B. <laughs> Catchy name, I know. This place eats the others for breakfast. Uranus and Neptune are super windy, but they're just popping off compared to this place. Winds are at speeds of 5,400 miles per hour. Oh my gosh, and it rains glass, and sideways. Ah! If you're still keen to visit, put your affairs in order and say goodbye to your loved ones, because that's what extreme sports are all about. Places on this trip are going fast. Mind you, we have a slightly high turnover, so if you don't really have to wait too long for a seat, call now. If you love bone crushing science and mind splattering knowledge, subscribe to Timex, I mean Ben's Lab, giving you the universe in plain human.